I'm really excited today, guys. Welcome here back to the Museum of Te um, And I've got a good friend of mine. Awate, kia ora, awate. Tēnā koutou. Awate, Shio, that's what you're going to do with us. Oh, tēnā koutou, te whānau. Uh, we've got a bit of rāranga on the cards on the Wednesday and the Thursday coming up. With our Wednesday being our kono, which is our item right here. And that's a very useful and essential item in that. A, a, um, an activity piece for food. Cool. So tell me, Awate, is there a, um, a skill level to make this? I would definitely say it's not the basic, but it's uh, uh, just into the intermediate. It's yeah. intermediate, so um, some basic aranga is good to know, is that what you're saying? Yeah, a little bit of pre-knowledge is helpful, but definitely if you haven't even touched it at all before, come in and um, you'll be able to do, you will be able to make it. Oh, and what else you got for us next week? Um, on Thursday, we've also got these whāreke. So these are really nice. They're quite simple to make. Um, it's essentially three steps. Yeah, so you, um, you learn how to lay the penu into place, you build up to the mat, and then you learn how to close off both the bottom and the top, and then you're finished. And, that, and they're nice. And uh, it doesn't take too, too long in that. You know? While you sit down and weed, you can have some enjoyable conversation, Learn a thing or two about culture and language as well at the same time. Yeah. Oh, Come and yeah. share. So, with the uh, whāraki and whānau, this is um, my second whāraki that I've made. Awate had taught me how to make um, my meditation whāraki. Um, what do you say the skill level for making a whāraki? One. Yeah. Just one. What does that mean? Explain to yeah, her because yeah. I kind of my, I, I did the pukana when he says, are oh, we going to make a whāraki? And I've been weaving the basics for quite a few you know, Few years now, but it's like I was like, we're going to make a what? A fariki, and it's um, the most basic thing. Okay. Um, the size is what kind of makes it a little bit deceptive, but the processes involved in that are definitely the most simplest. I have to agree, Barno. Come on down. We've got um, the fariki on Thursday. Uh, when I first approached it, I was like, I don't know if I can do this, but when I finished it, I actually did this one. Um, I was quite proud of myself. And it's the cool techniques that you get to learn from Awate. So if you're in the neighbourhood, definitely come down on Thursday. Call the museum. I'll leave the details in our um, post. Call the museum, book in. We're going to do this on Thursday and on Wednesday of next week. Don't forget we're going to do the dodo. Get your honey baskets going. Okay, yeah. Bana. Kia ora.